in an office usually used by barristers, UKIP's top brass, with this afternoon judging whether or not to back or sack its leader. Henry Bolton has only been leader for four months, but has faced calls to quit after his now ex-girlfriend Joe Marnie sent racist text messages about Prince Harry's fiancée Meghan Markle. But ahead of today's meeting, the UKIP leader was defiant. If the NEC decides to go down the route of months of f further infighting and further negative media scrutiny by deciding that, uh, to, to pass a vote of no confidence in me, then I think that the reality is that the party is probably over. Henry Bolton's election in September was meant to bring an end to a farcical 18 months, which have seen four different UKIP leaders, from Nigel Farage to Diane James, back to Nigel Farage and then Paul Nuttall. It's 18 months which has seen UKIP's membership tumble and several of its own MEPs quit. In fact, UKIP has been somewhat homeless for the past 16 months. Ever since Nigel Farage and his party left their main offices here on Great Smith Street in Westminster in October 2016, the party hasn't had an official headquarters. Back then they said that after the referendum victory they were in peacetime, not wartime. And an expensive office in central London was a waste of money. The question now, is UKIP's time up altogether? But this morning, this man denied rumours he was about to call time on UKIP. Am I on the verge of forming a new party? Absolutely not. Tonight, Henry Bolton cannot be so certain. Daniel Hewitt, ITV News.